Unit H, Excel 2010, using date and time functions. Begin reading the paragraph. There are many categories of functions in Excel. When you are finished, continue with this tutorial. Click cell B3 on Sheet 1. So make sure you're in Sheet 1, not Sheet 2. So we click on cell B3 for the, for the area of today's date. And then we're going to click on the date and time button in the function library group. So let's find the function library group. Notice it's the red one right here. So we click the drop down arrow. Point to today in the list functions. So we find today, not day, but today. Notice it says returns the current date formatted as a date. This function takes no arguments. Click OK. And it automatically inserts the date. Now, mind you, if you were to open this up later, this would always list the current day or current date. It would not keep the date from the previous day you would have to type that in manually or go through the insert tab next it wants us to click cell B18 so we want to go down to the bottom and click B18 next it tells us to type the equal sign and then to use the arrow keys on your keyboard and press the up arrow to select B17 and then type plus plus 30 and press the enter key so what has this done this has added 30 days to our previous closing day calendar alright then save your changes thank you for watching this video continue to the next